Are you focused on the truth or are you plagiarizing convictions? Family, we have heard incredible things tonight. Haven't we been fed? But there's more. Would you treat a headache with a stomach medicine? Would you put your left leg in a cast when your right leg is broken? This is exactly what people do when they try to use science to solve their God issues. They try to say science is atheism. Science is complicated concepts. Science is an opponent of God. But I know my Bible says that God is the creator. And although people worship created things, it doesn't remove the creator. But the thing is, science is not against God. But people can be. Because of a lack of truth. Do you love truth? I'm Harry, and I'm a third year medical student at Imperial College London. And I'm currently enrolled in the International College of Christian Ministry. The title of the charge I've been given is Science and God. A wise man once said this, in critical and baffling situations, it is always best to return to the first principle. I would say world evangelism is a critical situation. In Acts chapter 17, verse 10, it says, as soon as it was night, the believers sent Paul and Silas away to Berea. On arriving there, they went to the Jewish synagogue. Now the Berean Jews were of more noble character than those in Thessalonica, for they received the message with great eagerness and examined the scriptures every day to see if what Paul said was true. As a result, many of them believed, as did also a number of prominent Greek women and many Greek men. In a scientific paper, you need to have an observation, a hypothesis, test the hypothesis, and evaluate the results. And this is exactly what the Bereans did. However, what was their reference point? I have one point for you tonight. Are you focused on the truth or are you plagiarizing convictions? The word examined is anacrino. It means to investigate, to examine, to acquire into, to scrutinize, to sift, to question. What was their major reference point? It was the Bible. Paul shared with them, absolutely. But after Paul shared with them, they went straight to the Bible. After your D times, do you say I do this because my disciples said I should do it? Or do you see it in the Bible? They used Paul's convictions to lead them to the word of God. Why do we believe only disciples are saved? Why do we believe that there are no atheists? Because of the word of God. Are you plagiarizing Kip's or Michael's convictions? Or do you see world evangelism in the scriptures? Do you quote scientific facts more than you do the word of God? This shows an, a fundamental unbelief in the word of God. And my own cardinal sin, do you struggle to give up everything? when you should have done so before your baptism. These are challenging ideas. So we need faith and God. We need the word of God. Where are your reference scriptures? What do you struggle with? How can you deal with an issue you don't even know? Because if you don't deal with the issue, you look for other options. You try to use your thoughts, your thinking, other people's thoughts, other people's thinking. As disciples, we are meant to hold on to all the teachings of Jesus Christ. And so in a scientific paper, at the end of it, what do you see? You see a reference list. And the Bible tells us what the reference list of all disciples should be. And that is the word of God. Because in John 8, 31, it tells us that to the Jews who believed in him, hold to my teachings, and then you are my disciples. When we die, and we're before the judgment seat of God, and God opens up our papers and skips over to the reference sheet, what does he see? Does he see Kobe said, Sean said, Kip said, Michael said, 
or does he see the word of God? I love you and to God be all the glory.